started our journey guys this is uh the wellington motorway it's slowly approaching the motorway we are not we are not the, not in the motorway yet well probably you've seen noticed um new zealand motorways are quite fast compared to you know the most of the Asian countries uh, not most I mean as many of the Asian countries their motorways are quite fast compared to America Canada motorways are not that fast half of the car came from half of the cars came from Japan they are second-hand cars and uh, they are they are good in uh, quality that's why they import second guy second-hand car from Japan So you can uh, watch it live, all these roads and all stuff. The drive to the upper hut is very crazy guys. It's really good. Drive to upper hut is amazing. Because the, um, as soon as we finish up the seaside, then the greenery way starts guys the driveway is amazing fantastic view from here guys la 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 land it's more like a la la land for me guys when i came here first time we had a special program in um in upper heart so we had to go there and uh, it was fantastic in my personal opinion it was a great, great experience for me. This is another tunnel. So we are approaching the 100 kilometer zone. Finally, we are in the Chinakori Road. This this line goes to Chinakori. We gotta keep uh, your ourselves at the right side. This line wouldn't end up in the Chinakori Road. We have to take a left turn, but this line lead us to the Chinakori Road, guys. Now we are speeding at 80 kilometers per hour. Well, this is one of the best part of Wellington, guys. The motorway I should remember the day when I came into the waterway for the first time I never been to a proper motorway before guys at that time I was literally scared I was praying to God that let me have one day I can drive in the motorway freely please give me a chance like that because I was so much scared I, I thought I wouldn't be able to drive in the motorway on my own because there was one of my friend with me to cheer me up for morally support because I was kind of scared and I never been to the motorway now I have driven or, or I have already driven 100,000 kilometers in New Zealand guys that's a huge achievement isn't it within three years because I, I, it's been four years now but still uh, I mostly driven last three years especially last one year I think I have driven like 40,000 or 30,000 kilometers average at least Side is more like um, the seaside guys we have to we have to look on both sides the left and right mirrors so that we know that uh, what's going on around us every 10 second 10 to 20 second we have to check out what's happening around us check both mirrors every time you change your line make sure you turn your head and check the blind spot you have to manually check your blind spot guys
that um, barricade in between the the left and right lines all that that's uh, ocean you know the sea on the other side during the windy time I when I used to ride my bike motorbike it was quite challenging guys it was quite challenging and I was literally enjoying the challenges too but it was quite scary sometimes the wind blast you the wind blast I mean the cross wind blast was kind of uh, scary stuff for me I was so scared about it but you have some strategies you can use while you ride bike you have to hold you you have to have good grip so you hold your both knees I mean uh, both your leg tight to the tank patrol tank and uh, make sure you your body is very close to the petrol tank and uh, just uh, grab it as much as you could that's the best strategy and don't fight with the wind let the wind flow if you fight with the wind you end up in trouble you don't want it right so guys this is the best part a lot of 4 into 4 cars over here especially uh, used by the youngsters they buy the 4 into 4 cheaper cars and they go for 4 into 4 rides around the city um, uh, countryside wherever they could possibly do so even this is some part of the city you can do 4 into 4 drives guys <laughs> not um, I mean I didn't mean the right uh, heart of the city I mean you know the corner parts like Island Bay there is a um, there is a place for uh, 4 into 4 Tapa Taranga side, there's a 4 into 4 uh, drive area for you.
Mini Coopers are like, um, they look small in size, but they're quite large. It's bigger than you think it is, guys. It's bigger than a Swift. It's bigger than lots of hatchback cars. to New Zealand for this drive guys you don't even need a uh, any visiting or something just buy a bike or car rent out a car or bike just go for a drive for those who come from the left hand drive side or the right hand drive side it's different for the right hand drive side like India um, you know some of the countries uh, Australia it's same left uh, right hand drive so those people wouldn't find it's not difficult uh, difficult but uh, those people doing the left hand right they might find it's kind of difficult guys so yeah won't be long we're gonna finish up the traffic soon you know this queue is always inevitable for me it's kind of inevitable part of traffic yeah sometimes you have to wait because uh, from there to right, you go to, you you're going to the uh, um, lower heart. You're going to lower heart from um, from this to the right side to the left side. It's like the countryside. So that's how things goes. You see the size of the car. Oh, that's a two door. It's a club man. That look like that look like a. Oh no, it's a countryman. Yeah, countryman. Those are bigger cars, guys. A lot of huge fan base in Australia and New Zealand for this club uh, club band countryman. Basically, Mini Cooper is one of the most wanted, most popular. Sorry cars in New Zealand and Australia I mean all over the world people love it so the 
there are people going for a walk. approaching the current countryside within few kilometers we will be so uh, we'll be reaching the countryside guys so you, you, did you notice that weather difference guys part of Wellington where we are approaching it's kind of sunny but in the city it was raining guys it's raining it's still raining there roads are fantastic you can drive from here to Wellington to Oakland like 900 to 900 kilo, 900,000 kilometers
drive. special sort of weather now guys you know why it's because it's because it's different because it was raining in the morning now it's sunny so there you go guys thank you so much for watching hope you had a good drive with me and slowly winding up guys thank you guys love you all <laughs>